In this tutorial, we're going to make the rainbow predictor project um, using the sense hat on our Raspberry Pis. I'm going to do this tutorial in Trinket using the emulator, but you can do the same thing if you are programming um, on Python 3 using with Python 3, excuse me, using the actual sense hat. You can also create a similar project in Scratch. So I'll show you which blocks um, you might sequence together to do a similar thing here. All right, so we're starting on the draw a rainbow screen. I'm going to scroll all the way down here. Um, the first thing that I had to do, and I did this already before the video, was I had to set up connection to my sense hat um, with these first two lines, excuse me. And then I cleared the sense hat LED screen. And then I looked up the colors that I wanted to use in my rainbow drawing. So now we're going to create a list that's going to tell the computer what to set each pixel color to um, in order to create a rainbow. So we're going to call the list rainbow equals and then open bracket. And then I'm going to hit the return key here. Um, we like to set up our list um, to look the same way that the pixels do on this um, sense hat itself. So it's a little bit easier to organize. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to draw my rainbow the same way they did in the project guide here. So we're going to start with the red all the way across and then update our colors along each row here. So we're going to go caps lock, red, two, three, four, five, six, oops, six, seven, eight, comma. So there should be eight colors going across to match the eight pixels that go across. And then we'll go red, comma, orange, orange, comma. And then red, orange, yellow, yellow. And red, orange, yellow, green. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue. Okay. And then I is for indigo. Green, blue, indigo. And then purple, comma. And then let's check. This should be last row. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rows. So yeah, one more. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, purple. And then in their project, they ended with like just a clear pixel at the end. And then after that last color, we do not need a comma because that's the end of the list. You just need to make sure your list is closed with that close bracket there. Now let's hit enter backspace all the way up against the left side and we'll test our drawing out. So we'll say sense, oops, lowercase, sense dot set pixels and then in parentheses the name of our list. And let's run that and test it. Great. All right. Now, if you're doing this in Scratch, you might want to draw your rainbow a little bit differently. There's a few ways that you could do it. Um, but one way you might try, I'm going to go to our little tutorial here is you might create a custom block in the my blocks menu and when you define that block you're going to call it rainbow and then attached to that define block you would similarly use the set pixel blocks here right one at a time kind of like we did um, to tell the computer what color each pixel each pixel here should be on your sense hat. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then when you're ready to actually use that rainbow, you'll use the pink block that you created and drag that into your program. All right, so we've set up our rainbow. Now let's go ahead and test some weather data out and set it up so that our rainbow only shows up when the conditions outside are right for a rainbow. So we're going to be reading the humidity, which tests out the amount of moisture in the air. And we'll say, let's just read the humidity first. So we're going to say while true, so that it's constantly checking for humidity. And we're going to say print sense.humidity. And let's see what that looks like on our sense hat here using Python. And there we go. Down here, we're reading humidity data. And I'm on the emulator, so I can change that value and just see that, yep, the numbers are changing. 
with your actual sensa, it's going to be reading the humidity in the room. So what are we going to do with that? Well, a rainbow is more likely to appear when the humidity is on the higher side. So what we're going to do, we'll scroll down here in our instructions. And we're going to say, while true, we're going to change this. We're going to use an if statement selection. If sense.humidity is greater than 80% and if the temperature is right, not too um, hot, not too cold, sense.temp is greater than 20. This number is going to be reading in Celsius. So you may want to get a converter online to help you understand what 20 degrees Celsius is. Um, but we're going to say if that is the temperature and humidity outside, if it's greater than that, then show the rainbow. So sense.set pixels rainbow. But otherwise, else, sense.clear. All right, let's test that out. So run. And right now, there's our temperature on the emulator, so above 20. And then right now, it has to hit above 80%. And there's our rainbow. Great. So you could also do this for different weather conditions. Maybe you want to add to your selection statement. Um, you can just use an elif to say, maybe the weather is not meeting these conditions, so check for a different condition. Maybe it's sense.temp is greater than um, 25 degrees Celsius. And then maybe um, our screen just turns a solid color, right? So sense dot clear, and we could use yellow in there. It should show us yellow. Let's try that. Oop. Wrong statement there. <laughs> There we go. Let's try that again. All right, so you can see now it's just showing yellow because our humidity is low, but our temperature is high. And you could do that with a lot of different weather types. In your blocks, as you're starting to play with your conditional statements, you're gonna need to use your if-then blocks, your operators to check for whether a temperature is higher or lower than a number, your sensor blocks, and then you can tell the computer what you want it to do um, by setting pixels or displaying an image or clearing the background to a solid color. In this tutorial,